making a gluten-free style of pizza, a frittata pizza. Another thing that's great about a frittata pizza is it's made with eggs, so it's cheap and cheerful. And this is a pizza that you could serve for breakfast, brunch, lunch, or dinner. It's a meal that I call a BLD. It's really perfect to serve uh, to a crowd anytime, night or day, because it's based in eggs, of course. Um, again, it's gluten-free, and it's also great room temperature or even cold. Leftovers make a great, like, take your lunch to work or school the next day. So the frittata started in the skillet, a 16-ounce bag of the drained, chopped, frozen spinach that had been defrosted, wring it out in a clean kitchen towel to get the excess liquid out. We put a little olive oil in the skillet with garlic and the whites of a whole bunch of scallions, then we sliced on an angle. Twirled that around for a minute or two just to heat it through. Add a little salt and pepper, whipped up our eggs and our crumbled feta, and put it into a 425 oven. Once the frittata has set enough to top, we pull it out of the oven. It's brown around the edges. See, it's still a little loose in the middle, but it's firm enough to hold toppings. So this is now our pizza crust. So now we're going to top it with very thinly sliced tomato. which is mesmerizing me to the point that I can't speak to you. <laughs> and our mozzarella cheese, remember that tip about drying it out in the fridge overnight, right? And you can shred it or thinly slice it. So some mozzarella cheese all over the top. Why waste this poor guy? We don't want him to cry. A little Kalamata olive. The greens of our scallions, the scallion tops. And because it's Greek, a little bit of oregano. And incidentally, oregano in Greek means joy of the mountain. Why I know that, I'm not Greek, I have no idea. <laughs> it's just up there. Must have been in a Trivial Pursuit question or something, I don't know. Um, also, a little crushed red pepper flake. A little spice, a little heat. There we go. And we're gonna pop it back in the oven and you're gonna let this continue to cook another five to eight minutes until it's brown and bubbly. Hey guys, so this is our Greek frittata pizza. And if you wanted to even take this to the next level, you could put a little bit of uh, baby shrimp or small shrimp, have them across so they're nice and thin. You could add that to the toppings of this, it would be delicious. Uh, we've got uh, the first layer of spinach um, sauteed up with just the whites of the green onions, garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper, and just a splash of lemon juice to finish the spinach. To that, we added a dozen eggs and a cup of feta cheese crumbles. Then we bake that at 425 until it sets. Once it sets, we take it out of the oven, top it again um, with our traditional pizza toppings of tomato and mozzarella, thinly sliced vine tomato, thinly sliced fresh mozzarella cheese. Remember the tip of drying it out the day before, wrapping it in paper towel. A little bit of oregano, a little bit of chili flake, the Kalamata olives, and the greens of our scallions back in the oven till it browns and it looks just like a pizza. You take it out again, and I finish it with a little grassy flat leaf parsley, which they put in pretty much everything in Greek recipes, and a little bit of torn basil, very traditional for tomato mozzarella pizza. When you bring home basil from the grocery store, never, ever, ever put it in the refrigerator. Basil doesn't like the cold, it bruises the basil. You cut it like you would flowers, change the water every few days, and leave it on the counter. You also could put a large plastic food storage bag over the top, and it acts as a greenhouse, and the basil will continue to grow and stay beautiful and perfect and green until you're done using it. Uh, in my family, we also never touched a knife to basil. You can chiffonade basil and roll it and thinly slice it. In my family, we like to just tear it for the same reason. You don't want to bruise the basil. And of course, you put this on once it's out of the oven and is cooled for a few minutes so you don't blacken the leaves. Again, you can serve this room temperature, hot or cold. And I just cut it into wedges and put it out on a pizza peel or a big, pretty wooden board. <laughs> and there it is. Yum. Go Greek. You can eat it in a toga.